What's up, YouTube? It's PZS in here. Um, I've been thinking of it, and I've realized, man, it's been a little while since I've last done an app review. So I figured I'd do an app review for you guys. Uh, so, uh, in this video, I'm actually going to be reviewing an application called CamWow. Alright, it's kind of a corny, cheesy name, I know, but, uh, basically, if you remember, uh, on the release, if you remember when the iPad 2, <coughs> uh, released, officially, uh, it came with an app called Photo Booth. Alright, now, if you've been a Mac user, or if you own a Mac, you're probably very familiar with Photo Booth. Um, and the Photo Booth app on the iPad is basically the same thing, it's just now it's on the iPad. Um, so, obviously, the um, iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation have not yet received a Photo Booth app and a uh, software update. So, a company, of whom I do not know, um, because I haven't really checked. Uh, I guess it'll be in the uh, description, I guess, I don't know. But uh, a company had realized this, and so they decided to make a uh, substitute for Photo Booth. Um, for the uh, iPhone and iPod Touch, and it actually works pretty dang well. Uh, so, that is what I'm going to be reviewing today. So let's just scoot on over to my photography folder. There is the app icon right there, so that way you guys can see it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this. And it takes a little bit to open. And there we go. You can see we currently have a uh, effect called sketch open which looks pretty dang good now you can see it's a little bit on the laggy side I mean you can I guess kind of make that out I don't really know but it's a l it the frame rate isn't the best as you can see uh, but it does work good but this is you know obviously this is just one of the effects that doesn't apply for all the effects so well, let's go ahead and uh, um, explore it. Alright, so if you click on that FX tab, you're brought up to all the effects, and as you can see, very similar to the iPad version, you, and the Mac version for that matter, um, you've got all these effects, and they're previews, alright, as you can see. So let's just click the normal, and this here is basically normal. So, this is pretty much the exact same thing as your, um, as your camera app, and as you can see, it is nowhere near as jerky, in fact it's very smooth, so the app itself is not jerky, it's just that some of the effects require, are just, you know, require a little bit more hardware, acceleration, gubbins, and others, but you can, uh, just like you can in the camera app, you can tap back here to switch the camera, so now you're looking at the pedestal of my fan, um, which is lovely, and if you click it again, it switches to the front camera, so that's that. Let's take a picture. Didn't work. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have a countdown. I forgot about that. Alright then. Thank you. That was a terrible picture, I know. Whatever. I usually don't take pictures of myself. Um, Okay, uh, so that's basically how it works. If you want to view them, you, I guess, yeah, you click this, uh, that button there, and then you can view them. We are definitely, definitely deleting that. Oh, I should mention, I forgot about this. There's a watermark. I kind of forgot about that. I guess you can get rid of that in, see that right there, obviously. Yeah, I guess you can get rid of that in the, um, if you pay for something, but whatever, you know, it's, it's there, so doesn't matter. In fact, all it'll really do is just advertise the app you're using in case somebody happens to be interested in it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and click on the effects tab yet again. And, uh, here we have X-Ray. Um, you can see that. Maybe, ugh. Oh, there we go. Uh, so you can see how that looks, although it's basically what it does is it re inverts the blacks and the whites and gives it this weird coloring gradient map. Um, it's basically all these, a lot of, most of these effects are mostly just gradient maps, but I'm pretty sure you knew that. So yeah, it, it, that's what it looks like. So there is, uh, X-Ray. Here's one we were just on, Sketch. You can see it looks quite be good. There it is with the, uh, fan pedestal. Oops. 
there it is, the picture I just took. Ah, oh, uh, I just clicked the share button there, and it does look like you can email it, and you can Facebook it, and you can tweet it, so uh, that's pretty cool. So, um, this is a low battery. This right here is uh, the bulge effect. You probably have recognized this effect. Let's switch camera angle so you might be able to see it better. Yes, basically if you... It, it's the fish eye. Now here is my biggest gripe with this application. Unlike the Mac version and unlike the iPad version, all of these little lens... Ver all these little lens modifications and variations and whatnot that distort the image in a certain way. You know, on the Mac, in the iPad, you can actually manipulate it. But on this version, no. Not allowed to do that. If I try to move this bulge around, if I try to make it smaller or bigger, it doesn't do anything. Nothing happens. So, that is that. You cannot ma manipulate these effects whatsoever. Uh, that is the only thing that is a problem. So anyway, there is uh, that effect. Now there's quite a bit of effects. There is actually another page. Um, uh, what's this? Uh, I guess that's normal. No, I'm not really sure. It almost looks like it should be. It almost looks different. I don't know. I guess all of them have the normal effect, but uh, anyway, here's sepia which, you know, gives it a sort of brownish hue, although it looks grayscale on camera. Hmm, give it some time to uh, do its white balance adjusting and you should be able to see that it is in fact a sepia. There, you can kind of make it out there. It's, it's sepia, trust me. In real life, I can tell. Now here is a thermal camera and basically all it does is just make whites red. It's not a real thermal camera. Believe me, if my camera were this hot in real life, uh, that would probably be a very, very bad thing. And obviously, switching it. Yes, if my fan were that hot in real life, we would probably have a fire right about now. So, uh, yeah, it's quite clearly just a lighting thing, but I'm pretty sure you knew that. It's not that surprising. Now here is a mirror effect. This is an effect that just about everybody loves. So you can see how that works. And it's basically just a, a, a version of photo booth for the uh, iPhone and Apple Touch. Now you see my camera appears to have two lenses. I have seen a point and shoot camera before. And this is a long time ago, but it had two lenses. I think it was supposed to be a sort of 3D camera, but I don't know, I really wanted to buy it because it was a really cool looking camera because it had two lenses, but obviously that was several years ago. It was probably uh, maybe maybe like first, second grade when I saw it, so obviously back then, you know, uh, it probably cost maybe one, two hundred dollars, maybe more than that because back then cameras were pretty expensive, so that would be quite a large investment for me. Alright, yeah, that appears to be the normal right there. That I guess they all have an, a shortcut to the normal. Anyway, this is grayscale. This is, you know, this is grayscale. Everything is gray. So that's, um, that is grayscale. This is that weird square effect. It turns your face into a square. As you can see, it's quite in exciting. You know, it's uh, very, very interesting. And I'll show you the back. Yeah. So, I mean, it that's exactly what it is. I guess, you know what? I guess I will go through all the effects. This is the pinch, as you can see. Just uh, pinches everything. But again, you cannot manipulate it. Just like in this one, you cannot manipulate it. No manipulation allowed. Alright, this is similar. Actually, I have never seen this effect before. So I think they threw in some of their own original effects. Uh, but this is very similar to the um, the thermal imaging camera or basically it it's just uh, it changes up the colors a little bit as you can maybe see there so yeah it's, it's uh, something they threw in it's pretty cool alright here we have light tunnel and uh, that looks very 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 good 
for the uh, the dot turner there, if you can see. And uh, there's my fan pedestal yet again. Looks really, really neat. This, uh, it looks like I have no idea what that's called. Um, but you, I mean, it, it's, it's it's three colors. That's what it is. It's just a three color gradient map. It's three colors total, and it's black and white. All right, here we have a very pixely looking thing. Uh, it looks like one of those cameras you might find on like a PDA with a monochrome display that has a camera just for a bonus feature and kind of looks like photos that those would take. In fact, you've probably seen a camera very similar to this um, if you ever had the Game Boy Color. I believe the Game Boy Color, uh, you know, took pictures like this when it was for the Game Boys, like the original Game Boys. Um, at least that's what I think. Now you've probably seen this effect many times, in fact I'm starting to hate this effect because everybody is taking pictures with it and it's really repetitive. But uh, yeah, it basically it just repeats the same picture four times in different colors. Here's a swirl. I mean like everybody with a Mac, it's like you're required by law to take multiple pictures with that and then upload it to your Facebook. It's really, really annoying for some reason. Here's a green effect. It's also kind of like the uh, um, X-ray because it has all the whites and blacks reversed. So everything that's dark is green. If I cover the lens, and uh, well, there you go. And everything that is bright is black. So it's pretty cute. Uh, this is a sort of red, white, and blue type deal. This is also something that I have not seen on the original photo booth on the Mac. Well, there we go. There's something nice and bright for you. That's what it looks like, so... Yes. It's, uh... That. Now, what is this? Ah, pixels! Makes a very low-resolution picture. I do not know why you'd want to take a picture with this effect. Uh... Um... Yeah. There it is. Uh... If you if you want to take a picture like this, uh, there you go. That does not look good at all. That is an effect I'm trying to... I, I have no clue what it's doing in this app. Oh, that's it. That's just quite a bit deep. Now, I, I believe you can buy more effects in, like, in-app purchasing and stuff. Uh, which Apple is starting to try and discourage, but... You know that you do, but I believe you go in settings here. Remove removing the watermark is two dollars. Is that two dollars you really want to spend? No, you don't want to spend two dollars just to remove a watermark. You can probably remove it very easily in Photoshop or even something like MS Paint. Or if you're on a Mac, you could use some other means by simply resizing the frame of the photo a little bit to uh, cover it up. So it's not hard to do at all. Log out of all services, clear photo history, cam while on Twitter, cam while on Facebook. I'm going to clear photo history. Just because. When you do that, there are no recent photos. Alright, and uh, that's quite about it. It does, I... You know what? It does not. This is a portrait application. That is the other thing. I take a picture. Oops. Ah! Um... What the heck? Uh, oh, never mind, I could click on it. Uh, yeah, as you can see, you know, if I hold it like this, uh, it does appear to be that it is, in fact, in a landscape orientation, but if you take a closer look at the watermark, watermark is portrait. So if I share, actually, I think this will store in my camera roll. I think that's the bonus feature about it, is that it auto saves into your camera roll. So if you open up my photos, go to my camera roll, you will in fact see this is in fact a portrait photo, no matter what. So there's another feature that they are definitely missing out on, a landscape orientation. So it is in fact a portrait application. There's another grab for you. Anyway, that is it. Um, Thank you guys for watching this uh, app review, and um, 
hopefully you enjoyed it and if you didn't well I'm sorry and if you did well thank you um, so thanks for watching adios